Hello beautiful souls, it's Karen here at Soul Magic Inspiration Star Trek Tarot and I'm here with a collective love reading <coughs> excuse me, we're going to use the tarot and see what love messages or what's in store for love for the collective I just want to say a big thank you for your love and support I really appreciate that if you'd like to check out my ebooks, my deck shop and my Patreon, all the links are down below if you're new here, welcome. I hope you enjoy my content. Please leave me a comment. I would love to hear from you. So what does the collective need to know about love? Wow, we have the Four of Wands energy. So yeah, there's some sort of form of st stability and, and um, building a foundation with somebody coming towards you here. We've got nine of wands. I feel you never gave up. I feel you never gave up on love. You never gave up despite a lot of disappointments. Wow, we have Ace of Cups, so there is definitely a new beginning in love, and I feel this is when you start loving yourself, you know, you're really loving loving on yourself. We have the Wheel of Fortune, so things are starting to move forward in your favour, after maybe a time of feeling stuck, or feeling stagnant, so yeah, very positive. We have Queen of Swords energy. So you could be um, an air sign, uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or you're just in that energy where you are, you know, speaking your truth. You're speaking your mind. You've got firm boundaries in place. Why is the Ace of Cups there? We have the King of uh, Sacred Circles, which is the King of Pentacles. So this could be the person coming towards you, <clears throat> a, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or somebody that's really in that um, grounded energy, they're mature, um, they're financially stable. So let's go a bit deeper. Why is the Four of Wands there? Wow, we have the Sun. This has never come out when I've used this deck before, the Sun card. Look at that. So happier times ahead, you know, really coming into... A really much happier time of your life. Joy. Um, joyful times. Happy times. And you never gave up with that Nine of Wands. You know, you always had believed in love. Yeah, and we've got Princess of Cups. So there could be a communication coming towards you very soon. Um, maybe on a dating app. Um, maybe you go out and you meet somebody and they're going to contact you. We have the Empress energy, so they see you as a divine feminine, they see you as somebody that is beautiful, loving, nurturing, receptive. So, you know, get into that energy of being receptive, being loving, being nurturing, and it starts with ourselves. And be open to receive what's coming towards you. And we have the Wheel of Fortune there. Yeah. Prince of a sword. So there, there could be somebody watching you online. So this could even be somebody, you know, like I said, on a dating site. And maybe they haven't made themselves known to you yet, but they've spotted you on there is what I'm feeling. And we've got that Queen of Swords energy. But there is passion here. Um, this, this is a Knight of Wands energy. So somebody's going to be feeling passionate about you. Um desiring you it could be two different people here we've got an earth sign and a fire sign so there could be two different people coming towards you wow we have the world card so there is definitely a new chapter i mean the world is about endings but endings are always followed by new beginnings so i feel you're coming into a new chapter of your life what else can you tell us about this situation what's the outcome The outcome here. What's the outcome for this? 
Oh my god, I've not had this card come out before either. Look at that, the lovers. How beautiful is that? I'm going to have to hide it because of YouTube. But this is soulmate energy. This is a soulmate that you're meeting. What else? Wow, we've got the Hierophant. So this could lead to that commitment. I mean, we started off with the Four of Wands. I mean, I think somebody is wanting a commitment. Somebody is serious about love. What else? Oh my God, Ten of Cups. And you've got the rainbow there. Look at that. And, you know, maybe this person is very well off. <laughs> you've got the castle there. Um, this could be somebody that, you know, and this is a wish fulfillment. So, yeah, I mean, there's a party going on here, a celebration. So that could be where you meet as well. Maybe you're going to some sort of function, some sort of get together with friends or family. And that's where you could be meeting this person. We've got the high priestess. So just tap into your own intuition about this. So I'm going to use my deck. Romantic Mermaid Oracles to get some more messages. So what else can you tell the collective about love? Well, we have romances in the air and a new romantic phase. I love the way the cards always work out. So beautiful. So yeah, there's romance coming towards you definitely here. Somebody's wanting to romance you and it's a new phase with that world card. Well, yeah, you're going to enjoy kissing each other. You know, it's soulmate and it feels like soulmate energy. It's telling you to release control, just go with the flow. So just trust, don't try and control anything when you meet this person or even before that. Just trust. And then when you meet this person, just go with the flow. Don't try and control anything. And it, it's going to be joyous. You know, we saw that with the sun energy there. You know, you've got the sun coming out. It's going to be a beautiful time, the two of you. You know, you're going to be really happy with this person. What else? Yeah, holding each other so close. So really only have eyes for each other. Um, a lot of flirtation, flirtatious energy. You know, you, you've got that chemistry, I feel. You've really got that chemistry. It's going to be worth the wait. And they're going to help you heal your heart. If you've, you know, just get, if you've got over like a heartbreak. And it's a deep connection. So I said soulmate energy. But love yourself first. It says have unconditional love for self. So love yourself first. What else? It's all about seeing the light. Seeing your own light. You know, being in that energy self-love. And it's all in the divine time. Divine time. And then it says take a chance on love. Yeah, like I said, chemistry. So you're going to have really great chemistry. So I'm going to leave it there. Such a beautiful message. Sending you lots of love and blessings. Take care.